hey what's up guys i hope everyone is having a wonderful day and i have to be honest with you i didn't really wanted to make this video because it's making me sick to my stomach but let's see what this precious gem has to tell us hey bestie <laughs> you're wrong i think it's time for another adult pre-k lesson what do you think okay so first of all no and second of all fuck no i don't know who you're talking to but obviously you're on the wrong foot i kind of understand that you're talking or addressing the person that left the comment for you but you're not just addressing that person you're addressing all of us and you started calling us wrong uh, just out of the bat and just for that let me tell you that fuck no all right, turn your listening ears on. Catch a bubble in your mouth. <gasps> Good job. Okay, here's the thing. The thing is, who are you talking to? Why are you addressing us like we are eight years old children? We get that this should be like a teachable moment, but we're all grown ups. All I got so far is that your entitlement level is to the roof. The point you are trying to make is absolute garbage. Otherwise, you would address us like we are normal people. But anyway, let's keep going, shall we? Having a preference is something like I'm looking for a partner who likes kayaking, or wakes up early in the morning, or loves pizza. <laughs> yes, all of those are preferences that no one gives two fucks about. All you listed so far are traits that are not important when meeting someone. You can date someone that will take you kayaking and you could love it even though you never did it before, so kayaking it's not a huge fucking preference i don't care at what time you wake up in the morning and i could not give less than a fuck about what you eat while on a date or at home you can like pizza you cannot like pizza i just really don't care but hold on i feel that the teachable moment is just about to come any minute now but when your preferences exclude an entire group of marginalized people, that's problematic. And it's starting. Marginalized people who? You realize you are an overweight white woman, right? You are not marginalized. You are more than just a minority. So stop acting like you're oppressed because you're fat. You know what the solution to that is? Stop acting butthurt. Drop the two buckets of fast food you are ingurgitating for lunch, eat a salad, and go for a walk. Okay, that's not nice. That's not a preference. If you lump all fat people in one group together as though they are not very different individuals, that's fat phobic. Just like lumping all black people in one group and saying, I don't like black people is racist. Yes, it may not be nice, but it is still a preference. Everything about the human body is a preference because we are visual animals, all of us. Blonde hair is a preference or black hair, blue eyes or brown or green. Skin complexion can be a preference. Body weight is still a preference, either you like it or not. Every human being has their own preference as you are calling us all wrong. How entitled must you be to act like this? All people must like you, and if someone doesn't, they are phobics or haters, right? You are just delusional, plain and simple. And there's the racist train that all of you fucking educators jump in the same wagon. First of all, how fucking dare you compare your butt hurt fat ass with the biggest tragedy of mankind? Did anyone ever put you in chains because you are fat? Were you ever whipped because you were fat? Were you never allowed in a bus unless you stand in the back because the bus was for just skinny people? So just shut the fuck up. You know you can change pretty much every part of your body, right? 
The only thing you can never change is your race. So again, shut the fuck up. And lumping all disabled people in one group and saying, I don't think people in wheelchairs are hot, is ableist. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, and that's still a preference. The fact that I don't want to be stuck pushing someone's wheelchair for the rest of my life or with someone that's paralyzed that I need to take care for the rest of my life. It sounds bad and I know it sucks and I do have all the respect in the world and those people that take care of disabled people, they're just the most amazing selfless people in the world. But you like it or not, it's still a preference. I don't maybe want to go through that for the rest of my life. So I'm selfish, but I'm not a hater. I'm not a phobic or whatever the fuck you want to call me. It's just selfishness, maybe, and the fact that that's still a preference. I prefer not to date one of those people. Plain and simple. Just like I don't want to date you because, first of all, it's your personality that sucks, not your body. There's millions of people that will find your body attractive. It's still a preference. That's their preference. But your personality is what is pushing people away. That's plain and simple. And the other reason that I do not want to date you like ever or someone like you is because I don't want to put myself in the situation where I need to take you and be there with you every time you go to the doctor because your knees are failing you because they cannot support the extra weight that you put them through or your ankles or your heart or your other internal organs. I don't want to be there with you every time you have to go to the doctors because you're feeling sick, because it's hot outside and you can't breathe, just because you're lazy and you feel entitled that people, everyone else needs to like you just because you exist. The fucking world owns you something just because you exist. They should make you a statue. No. No one should. Just because you feel entitled, I don't need to feed you into your entitlement. I don't need to give you the recognition that you're looking for. It's just that simple. I just don't. And everyone has their, their preferences just like yourself. You mean to tell me that you don't have a body preference, a sexual preference. You don't have any of that. You might be just the only person in the world that doesn't. Everyone have their kinks and preferences and the stuff they, they like in a different or another person, stuff that they like and don't, they don't like in their own, in their selves. And everything about that, it's a preference. Just like someone likes fat people, you cannot call them skin phobic just because they will feed into your entitlement. No, it's still a preference. Everything though about the human body, it's a preference. And I feel sorry for you that you might be got rejected and you feel hurt and you feel sad. But all your video tells us is that you're sad and miserable. And that's it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for today for this video. And like I said at the beginning, I didn't really wanted to do this video because it just makes me sick. But thank God I just I'm done with this shit.